Welcome to Electron Online. Here we have a nice example. We have what we call a triangular wave periodic function and we should realize that this is what we call an even function which means that it has a mirror image about the vertical axis. We can simply flip this over and we have the exact same function. That means that the coefficients b sub n are all equal to zero. That also means we only have to find the a sub naught in the a sub n coefficients and because it's an even function we can make that even a little bit easier because realize that if we want to graph the function right here between 0 and the first period so 0 and 1 t notice for this part here the function is equal to 2 a over t times t for the values of t between 0 and a half a period but for the next half period it has a negative slope and a y-intercept right here of 2a so that means that the function is defined as 2a minus 2a over t times t for the second half of the period but it turns out since it's even we can find the a sub naught and the a sub n coefficients easier by only have to integrate through the first half the period because of the symmetry there and so what we can say is that a sub naught can be found by taking 2 over t instead of 1 over t we're going to double the amplitude because we're going to integrate only over the first half the, of the period t over 2 and we're going to integrate f of t dt only over from 0 to t over 2. Let's see what that ends up being so when we plug in the function we know what that is equal to so we have this is equal to 2 over t now 2a over t can be factored out in integral sign, so times 2a over t times the integral from 0 to t over 2 of the function of t times dt. And that's easy to integrate. This simply becomes, here we have 4a over t squared, and this becomes t squared over 2 evaluated from 0 to t over 2. Of course, when we plug in the lower limit, we're going to get zero. We only need to worry about the upper limit. When we plug in the upper limit, we get this is equal to 4a over, we still have the 2 here, so that's 2t squared times, that would be t over 2 quantity squared. If we simplify that, this simplifies to 2a over t squared times t squared over 4, the t squares cancel out and so we end up with a divided by 2. So here we can say that the a sub naught is equal to a divided by 2. That was pretty straightforward because we only had to integrate over half the period so we didn't have to deal with that part of the function right there. So now we're going to find the a sub n's. a sub n's that's going to be a little bit more work because the equation there tells us that it's going to be 4 over t Again, we're only going to integrate over the half the period, so we have to double the amplitude here from 0 to t over 2. f of t, in that case, is also going to be 2a over t, I guess I could have taken that outside the integral sign, times t times the cosine of n omega t, and of course we need the dt there. All right. So now notice we have a t times a cosine of n omega t dt. We'll probably need to use integration by parts. We can factor out a 2a over t. Why don't I do that right now? When I do that, I can put the 2a over here. So 4 times 2a, and this becomes 2 squared, and just go ahead and get rid of that. So we just took it outside the integral sign. So we have 8a over t squared outside the integral sign. So what we need to do now is use the integration by parts. So we're going to say let u equals t then du equals dt and let dv equals to the cosine of n omega t dt which means that v will be the integral of that so the integral of the cosine is the sine so we need 1 over n omega times the sine of n omega t so now we know that the integral of u dv is equal to u times v minus the integral of v du. Applying that over here, we can say that this is equal to, we still have the 8a over t squared here. We're going to multiply that times 
u times v, of course, we have limits there that we need to implement. We'll worry about that in a moment. So we have u times v. So that gives us t over n omega times the sine of sine of n, not m, but n omega t evaluated from 0 to t over 2. And then minus the integral from 0 to t over 2 of v du. So that would be uh, 1 over n omega times the sine of n omega t dt. All right, to make it a little bit more understanding, we're going to replace omega by 2 pi over t. Notice that the frequency is 1 over the period, and omega would be 2 pi over the period. It makes it easier to see when we plug in the limits what that's going to be equal to. All right, so a sub n will become equal to 8a over t squared times... Okay, notice though that here when we plug in the lower limit in for t, that'll go to zero, so we don't need the lower limit. We only need to plug in the upper limit. So that becomes t over 2 divided by n, and omega is going to be 2 pi over t. So 2 pi over t, like this. All right? Times the sine of n times omega, which is going to be 2 pi over t, times t, which is going to take the upper limit of t divided by 2. Now, this is the important part right here because that may make this portion go to zero. We're not done yet. We still have the integral, but we'll worry about that later. But notice that the 2's cancel out and the t's cancel out. And here we have the sine of n times pi, and n is an integer. So it's 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, and so forth. And so an integer number of pi, so we take the sine of that, that is always going to be zero. And when plugging the lower limit, that's always going to be zero. So this whole term simply becomes zero, and we don't have to worry about that. Makes it simpler. Now, we're going to integrate this, and the integral of the sine is the negative cosine, so that negative that we get from the integral is going to negate this, and that's going to make that a plus. We're going to factor out an n over, 1 over n omega, but we're going to end up with another n times omega from the second time that we do the integral, so it's 1 over n squared omega squared times the cosine of n, now omega can be written as 2 pi over t, that's better that we do that, times t evaluated from 0 to t Still over 2. a closing bracket for this, and we need a closing Forget bracket that. for that. All right, so we can bring the n squared omega squared over here, and then we need to plug in the upper and lower limit, and I think that is important that we do that. So let's say this is equal to 8a over t squared divided by n squared. Now, omega squared can be written as 2 squared pi squared over t squared. It would be 4 pi squared over t squared. That brings the t squared to the numerator, and you see the t squareds cancel out. Now we need to plug in the upper and lower limits. Let's see what we get. Plug in the upper limit. We end up with the cosine of n 2 pi t over 2, and there's a t there, all right? So t over 2 when we're playing the upper limit, and we get that. And then we subtract from that the cosine of 0. Simplifying this a little bit more, the 2's cancel out, the t's cancel out, and now we see you have the cosine of n pi minus the cosine of 0. Now you know the cosine of 0 is always going to be equal to 1. But the cosine of n pi is going to depend upon what n is equal to. When n is odd, then we have the cosine of pi, which is negative 1, and negative 1 minus a 1 is negative 2. But when it is even, the cosine of 2 pi or 4 pi or so forth is going to be equal to 1, and 1 minus 1 is 0. So n's can only be odd in this case, n's cannot be even. And if n's are odd, then it's going to be negative 1 minus 1 or negative 2, so we multiply this times negative 2, and we get this is equal to negative 2, and of course the t squares cancel out, times 8 divided by 4, which is times 2, times a divided by 
n squared n divided by pi squared and that's all correct if n is uh, let's see n has to be odd n is equal to odd n cannot be even and if we simplify that more this is equal to minus 4a over n squared times pi squared so these are the b sub n coefficients oh i'm sorry not b sub n b sub n's are zero a sub n coefficients but only for n equals odd because when n is equal to even and i should make that a small n when n is equal to even then it is equal to zero what that means now is we can go ahead and plug that back into our function right here f of t when converted to the fourier series is the dc term which is equal to a over 2 and the ac term which is a sub n which we found right here when n equals odd times the cosine of n omega t so that becomes the following we can say that f of t is equal to a sub naught which is a over 2 amplitude divided by 2 times or not times but plus the sum for n is equal to 1 to infinity of a sub n now a sub n is going to be a factor of n squared and in addition to that it can only be an odd number so one way to do that is to say okay that is equal to minus 4a because I have to put in here all the a sub n's right so minus 4a divided by 2n minus 1 so instead of writing n I can write 2n minus 1 because when n is 1 this is 1 when n is 2 this is 3 and so forth of course I have to square that just like it's squared over there times pi squared in the denominator and then times the cosine of n omega t but again n has to be written as 2n minus 1 times omega t because this can only be an odd number and then if we want to actually write out what each of those terms are then we simply can write it like this f of t is equal to a over 2 plus when n is equal to 1 that would be uh, this is 1 so that we get minus whoop, I guess this becomes minus not plus minus 4a divided by and that would be 1 pi squared and that would be the cosine of and that would be 1 times omega t and then the next term n would be 2 here that gives us a 3 there and a 3 there so that would be uh, minus 4a over 3 squared pi squared times the cosine of 3 omega t and then the next term would be minus 4a divided by that would be uh, 5 squared pi squared times the cosine of 5 omega t and minus and so forth so that's how we can see where each of the term comes from so this is the full written out equation f of t in terms of cosines and there's the general compact format of the solution and that's how we find the Fourier series of our original triangle wave periodic function and that's how it's done